All right, let's get started. So this workout beat my ass. I can't even lie. Mostly it was just the squats. Um, I mean, really, it tore me up. So let's get into it. First set. Um, it moved, you know, it was a little bit of a, a struggle. Uh, I don't think I had my footing set correctly. And I was spending more time trying to get a balance before I started my set. And that's why I don't show myself um, unracking the weight because it's about 10 seconds for from when I unrack it to when I actually start squatting so you know I try to find my my uh, my placement for my feet try to get my balance going try to make sure everything's nice and tight got a nice shelf for the bar to rest on and my upper back and everything you know on my traps I mean first set down um, second set here moved a little bit better you know I was more in tune and dialing when it came to everything uh, my stretches and my warm-ups, well, my stretches went pretty good. My warm-ups kind of sucked. Um, at one point in my warm-up, there was a, I had a set of three for 225, and for some reason, it didn't feel so right. It didn't move so well like it usually did. Uh, I did, I was moving some things around the house and picking up some stuff and whatever before I started uh, lifting, and I felt kind of a strain in my lower back before I even started um, stretching. So I kind of felt like it would have been a, it was going to be a little bit of a problem, which it ended up being a bit, um, you know, my hips felt kind of tight. My, uh, my hamstrings felt kind of tight. So I spent some extra time trying this out and I got a little bit better. It opened up some more, did some dynamic warm ups, which, um, always helped me out when it comes to that. And I'm, I'm going to do a video where I show my full stretching routine one day. I'm, I'm so behind on videos. I got to do a stretching video. I got to do a review on my Pro Gears 1600 squat rack. Um, my my bar. I don't know what else. But just know I'm going to get those videos out. I'm really caught up with stuff outside of the channel. And uh, yeah. So really now I'm approaching heavier weight on my squats. And um the weight doesn't feel so heavy on my back, but uh, the last two reps on pretty much the last two sets are always a grind for me. Um, I really have to like dig deep and um, I don't know. I, I gotta. I'm really reaching when it comes for those squats, um, especially the very last rep on the very last set. Those, man, let me tell you. I mean, when I say these squats kick my ass, I mean, they wipe me out. Like, I felt like I was going to throw up in between each set. Or even, like, I think it was this set where I really felt sick and I took my time a little bit more. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I had some Cheez-Its with um, my pre-workout. And uh, I was having a little bit of acid reflux. Everything went straight from my stomach right back up into my chest. And, you know, it did not feel good at all. Um... But again, I knew I knew that I could uh, rep these out. It was just a little bit of painful, and it's kind of you know you have to push through a little bit uh, of an uneasy feeling. I said at the point where I'm at with my squats now, um, and it really it drains me. It drains like just about all my energy, <laughs> and my back is messed up after you know, and it takes me a while to recover. And this time around, um, I felt like I had to use the bathroom as I was doing my squats. Like, in my third set, I felt like I had to, you know, go take a dump, essentially. And, I mean, after I racked this, I felt lightheaded. Um, I felt like I was going to puke everywhere. I had to really take my time. And, um, yeah, man, I, I couldn't walk. My back was really tight. And as you'll see, I did go to the bathroom. After the bathroom, I got caught up watching a part of um, the Aladdin movie, the newest one with my little sister. I got carried away, and, I, and then I realized I had to go finish my workout. So 30 minutes later, here we are back at the bench. Um, you know, my bench is, is not really a struggle right now. I'm actually very happy with my bench. Um, if you watch my max video, you know that I, uh, I maxed out at, I think it was 280? 280 pounds, I believe, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, 280 pounds. And I was very surprised with that 
um, it's the most weight I've ever pushed in my entire life, and I, I don't know, it was just, I was really, really satisfied with that, I always wanted more, you know, but I was satisfied with that, by the end of the year, I want to be able to push 320, or 315, at least, you know, with good form, and, um, I feel like I'll be on my way with that by the end of the year. I, I should be able to hit that. But yeah, my bench is when I when it comes to my strongest five by five. I feel like I always want to fly through it. I don't feel like I should rep and breathe and rep and breathe. You know what I mean? I always want to just rep it out as quick as possible. And that you know it's not good for my form. You just see me bitching a little bit here. It's not good for my form, and um, I try to do what I can to dial in, but I don't know why, it's just like, I'm so used to always wanting to throw the weight, so it's hard for me to slow down and try to dial in on it and um, make sure I'm using proper form and executing properly with everything too, so, but I got my bench down, I'm not really struggling with it at all right now, here, here I go whining a little bit more, <sighs> alright man, come on. But yeah, so, I mean, this is not a struggle right now. Um, my barbell rolls are starting to get annoying. And when I say annoying, I mean, I'm really trying to get my stance correctly and make sure I'm pulling with my, you know, I'm pulling without activating my hips and trying to, like, jerk it up. You know, I'm trying to do it slow and controlled. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's not a struggle. It's just like, I don't know. I guess after those squats, and usually, like, I don't take so long to recover. I usually take, like, an eight-minute rest after my squats now because that's how heavy it is, and it really does take me time to recover. But, like, I don't know. I just, I think that wrecked me for the rest of the workout, to be completely honest. Um, one of my followers was telling me that he's recently switched to um, doing his squats on a different day from his other lifts because his squats are getting heavier. And he feels as if it's draining his energy when it comes to his overhead press and his other workouts. And that's a real thing. Um, it, it definitely takes its toll on you. And that's why I'm happy I have a little uh, garage gym because I'm able to take a 30-minute break, go take a dump and go, you know, relax a little bit. I don't want to say relax, but, you know, walk away from it a little bit and then come back in and finish it. Which is, it's not the best idea. I don't, This that's the longest I ever took, but um, I just... That's how I felt. I was so happy because that's a PR for me, 340 for a 5 by 5 or even a 1 by 5 really. Um, and if you knew, if you know uh, my max video, I, I maxed out at 370 for my squat. I know I had more in the tank, but I had so many attempts trying to get up to 385, and then I failed that so many times. And I don't know, man. I just, three 370 is where I, I uh, maxed out at, and I knew I had more in the tank for that, so... And, you know, I'm slowly creeping up to that, um, and it feels pretty good, because I know my my max should probably be, like, 390, 400. I really want to hit 405, and I want to hit 405 with proper depth, and that's something that um, I've never been able to do before, even back in high school, which was probably, like, four years ago when I was doing um, football and a weightlifting team. Um I was never able to hit 405 with proper death without a spot, you know what I mean? So, oh, here I go, um, wimping out on these push-ups and then whining about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I really, when I say, like, those squats messed me up, I just couldn't even, my focus was gone. I was, my head was outside of the gym and, uh, yeah, it just didn't feel so right. Anyways, here are the chin-ups, um. Those were good too. I ended up wimping out on some of them also. I mean, I was drained, I was hungry, and at this point I just wanted to get out of the gym as quickly as possible. And it took a lot for me, because I really wanted to quit, you know, in between these sets. I said, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna take my ass inside and go eat some food and go to sleep because it's it's probably I think it was like eleven thirty at night. But at this time right now. And because um, this was a late night workout, Sunday late night workout, and I just was not feeling it at all. So Got the chin ups done, um, best I can at least. I kind of gave up on myself in this workout, but I'm not saying that's all right. But hey, I mean, it is what it is. I wasn't 
fully into it this day and uh, I didn't even want to work out in the first place. I was going to skip it, but I was like, it's going to suck ass if I skip this workout because I know I'm going to lose out on some gains. So, yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the videos. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>